For like 10 years or something, Ed kept getting after Jack for me to be on a show. And Jack said, no. Why? Because you never get any, let anybody do anything. I mean, you barely, they can barely hit the last note of the song. And you're, all right, folks, isn't that really, you know. And he said, uh, Mitzi will only be on the show when you give her some time. I had 13 minutes. 13 minutes on the Ed Sullivan Show. And um, so he asked me to come to New York. Well, we were going to be there anyway. This was October 63, to come to New York and um, do a promo for the show. And now, folks, uh, we're, Mitzi Gaynor's going to be on our show. We've tried very hard to get her. And, and I'm all teeth and eyelashes and diamonds and gorgeous and all this kind of stuff. Yes, of course, you know, all this business, the real me. And, uh, and he said, and so really on the show, we're going to have Alan and Rossi and from, from Liverpool, uh, four guys called the Beatles, uh, rock and roll. Okay, thank you very much. See you then. Ed, Liverpool, rock and roll, the what? The Beatles, B-E-A-T, oh. That was October 63, February 64. I mean, and I had top billing. If, if I, there, I have a picture someplace and I can't find it. I've seen it. it. Have you? Yes, Does it say have. Mitzi Gaynor with mm-hmm. so-and-so? Yes, so, it, huh? yes, it does. So I try to tell people, oh yeah, sure. Um, so okay, we're, remember I told you about Bob Sidney? Mm-hmm. We're in rehearsal. And uh, the Beatles are, you know, doing what they're doing. And Paul is on the stage, see, with his back to the uh, to us. And we're coming in. Bob's in. He said, get that girl off the stage. And I looked and I said, Bob. He said, get that girl. Go. All right. Who's the assistant? Get that girl off the stage. I said, that's one of the Beatles, Bob. I said, that's Paul. He said, I don't care. Get that girl off the stage. With that, Paul turns around and is laughs, I mean, falls down. Then he, you know, he tells, he tells the other three, you know, and they're on the floor. Bob said, I don't know what's so funny. Anyway, makeup. And I said, no, it's my show. You're not going to be made up. It was panic. Now, I did 13 minutes all crammed in of, of just the singing and dancing. Very little, no talking whatsoever. And perspiring. Yes, judging from the YouTube videos, it was very hot in that uh, But you couldn't see it on the Beatles because they had all the hair, and I'm cut down to here. Right. And the Catholic Church banned me. They said I was lascivious, a nice Hungarian beef like me, a lascivious girl. Oh God! And I'm a Catholic. I, whoa, whoa. Well, because I you know, the well never. Was that mind. your first brush with that kind of thing I in never, your career? I never. I'm not. You know. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, I can't see how in quotes a sex symbol can stand being banned by the Catholic Church. <laughs> Uh, did you have sort of any beyond Just excuse the, uh, me. Yes, Let me ahead. finish this. Mm-hmm. I'm no, back please. in good graces, so don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> you got a dispensation? I got a dispensation on my Schwitz. <laughs> I think when you asked me these questions, you must have heard about the one with my darling hairdresser when they came knocking on the door. One, then one of their helpers said, could we please borrow Missy's hair, hair dryer? And Tommy said... They're the Beatles, tell them to get their own. I said, you can't say things. My God, Tommy. Next day I said, Mitzi Gaynor bans Beatles, can't use. It's just, <laughs> so he said, screw them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when you're doing stuff like that, you really, you can watch after, but um, I thought they were, at, well, I was in love with them, weren't we all? Bob Precht said he and were all invited in the dining room at the hotel for, for, for dinner. So they came in, the Beatles, came over to me and kissed me and asked me for my autograph. The Beatles asked me for my autograph. Are you listening to me? And and they came and they sat down at their table. They took their coats off, hung it up on the back of the chair, and sat with their knife and fork like this, waiting to be fed. Good guys, good. The audience was absolutely so insane, you have no idea. It was so packed and so hot, and they... The air conditioning ducts, they had to cover them up with lights. It must have, well, you know what it's like in Florida. In, in, oh, my God. And, and uh, you could see people, if you saw them in profile, water was dripping off the ends of their noses. But it was, it was madness. It really was. And I have to say, the audience got their, job, their, their money's worth because 
course, they didn't pay anything. But I mean, the audience really got, because the Beatles were fat. It was a wonderful show. 